Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the different types of bedding for small animals, particularly guinea pigs. So, first I'm going to be starting off with some good types of bedding. So, one of the best types of bedding you can get is Carefresh. So, Carefresh is really nice because it controls odor and it's really absorbent and it's almost dust free. So, it's also made in the USA, which is nice. So, it's like paper bedding and it's very soft and it's very absorbent so it looks like this so when you get care fresh um, you want to make sure that you get the natural paper bedding and the natural colors because if you get colors like purple or blue or pink then sometimes the dye when they pee on it the urine can make it smell the dye smell so you just want to avoid getting dye dyed care fresh um, but care fresh is really really nice you can but the only problem is it's really, really expensive. Like a bag like this would probably cost um, nine or n anywhere from ten to twenty dollars. So if you're willing to spend a little bit extra on your guinea pigs or small animals, um, or you find a really good discount on it, feel free to use Carefresh because it's a great type of bedding. You can also look for other types of um, off-brand Carefresh, like Boxo bedding and Clean and Cozy bedding, and those work well too. Okay, so the next type of bedding I'm going to talk about is fleece bedding. So, it, this is suitable for guinea pigs, but it's not suitable for ger gerbils or hamsters or anything just because they like to burrow and can't burrow on the fleece. So, um, for guinea pigs, this is great. So, what you do is you take things under it, like newspapers or towels or puppy training pads, and you can put that under the fleece. And then you put... Um, a big piece of fleece over the whole thing and you want to make sure it's anti-pill just because you don't want it to get pilly after washing it too many times and then um, they can that's basically their bedding then and then when they pee on it and poop on it it's nice for when they poop on it with spot cleaning because then it's easier to find the poop because it just doesn't go to the bottom like with shavings um, but with pee um, you just kind of let it absorb into the whatever is under the fleece and it just kind of sinks through there so fleece is really nice um, it also is good for the respiratory systems because it doesn't have any dust at all the only bad thing is that with um, the pee on it you do have to replace it pretty often um, so like probably every three to five days or it could be more or less depending on the quantity of guinea pigs or animals you have or just on how much they eat and how much they poop and how much they pee. So it just kind of depends on your animal. So fleece is a great type of bedding. It's also really, really cost efficient because you only have to buy a big thing of fleece once. And if you use things like towels underneath it, it's completely reusable. And you don't have to buy bedding ever again. So that's really nice. Um, basically, the only thing you have to pay for if you get fleece is the washer detergent to wash it with. So, unless you would wash it by hand, but fleece is a great type of bedding. You can also get, like, the big pads of fleece um, that already have an absorbent coat under them. I believe Midwest sells some like that, and I don't have one, but it's gotten very good reviews. Um, so this is Aspen. This is the kind of bedding I use, and I absolutely love Aspen. It's great because, um... It controls odors naturally, and I like it because it adds kind of like that natural smell um, to instead of an artificial smell like the shavings do. Um, and the shavings are kind of like little wood chips here. Um, but I really like this too just because they can chew on little pieces of aspen also, and that's basically like free chew toys. Like sometimes you'll get bigger pieces of wood in there that they like to chew on, so that's nice also. Um, it's also really absorbent and it's pretty much dust free. Another thing that I love about this is that they make it out of recycled materials. So um, they use things um, that use aspen to make and then they use the extra parts of whatever they were using it for and then they use that to make aspen. So no trees or um, nothing is cut down um, for the purpose of making aspen shaving. So I love that about aspen. And then another thing that's really nice about it is that it's really cheap. Um, it's thirteen dollars for a big bag like that, like this, and that usually lasts me for a month. And that includes spot cleaning and their weekly clean. 
So I think aspen is great. Um, you just want to make sure not to get hens bedding like cedar or pine, which I will talk about in a second. So cedar and pine are two types of bedding, and they look very, very similar to aspen. But they're, well, cedar can be red, but pine looks very, very similar to aspen. And they're both really, really cheap. Like, it would be $4 for a bag that's, like, maybe a little bit smaller than the bag I just showed you. But pine is not good for your guinea pigs because it can mess with their respiratory systems. And although it's cheap and some people say that it doesn't bug them, then, I mean, why take the chance when you can be safe and just buy aspen or something like that for just a little bit more money? So, um, I would not recommend using pine or cedar just because they can sneeze, they can cough because of it. It's just not good for their health overall, so I would not use pine or cedar. Another thing that I wouldn't use is um, for, like, when you're litter training animals like ferrets or um, rabbits or even guinea pigs, um, usually guinea pigs don't litter train very well, but for... Um, the small animal litter, it's like little rolled pieces of paper. You shouldn't use that for your guinea pig bedding just because if they eat that and they keep eating pieces of that, it can clog their digestive system or they can get it stuck in their throat and choke on it if the piece is quite large. So you always want to be careful with the rolled paper um, litter. And I just wouldn't use that at all. Another thing um, is shredded paper. So shredded paper is good. I use... Um, I use it in my litter box and I use it a little bit um, throughout my whole cage, but it's it's nice, but um, you just have to be make sure to use uh, plain white paper or paper with minimal ink on it. And then another type of bedding that's not good is newspaper because with just newspaper, um, they can chew on it and eat it, which isn't good for them overall because it's all the ink. and. Also, it's not very absorbent, so pretty much just the pee goes straight through and onto the bottom. So I wouldn't use pure paper. And then the last type that's not very good for them is just Timothy hay or any type of hay because then when they pee and poop on it, um, if that's your solid bedding and that it's 100% Timothy hay, then um, like if they pee or poop on it, then it can contaminate the, or the Timothy hay. And then if they try to eat it, then that's really bad because um, they're basically eating their pee and poop, which guinea pigs can eat one type of their poop, but uh, they don't want to eat their pee or anything else because that can be unhealthy for them. So um, I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll subscribe. So bye, guys.